Hello and welcome to lecture 1 of our course Applied Chemistry 1. I am going to start with the first module from our syllabus, Water. In this very first module, you will learn about impurities in water, what is meant by hardness of water, how to determine hardness using complexometric titration method and calculations, different methods used to remove hardness like lime soda, zeolite and ion exchange process and numericals based on the same. Then about drinking water and its quality, disinfection processes like chlorination or ozonation, some advanced process to remove contaminants from water like electrodialysis reverse osmosis and ultrafiltration. What is meant by biochemical oxygen demand and chemical oxygen demand and its significance and then sewage treatment process. And in this lecture we will try to get an idea about impurities in water, hardness of water and types of hardness mainly. All we know that pure water is colorless, dustless and odorless. We also know that water is universal solvent. That means water can dissolve every naturally occurring substance on earth to some degree. Hence, water can obtain from any natural sources is generally contaminated by several impurities. These impurities may be physical, chemical or biological. Physical impurities are mainly because of undissolved suspended matters present in water and hence we observe turbidity in water. This can be removed by filtration or coagulation technique. Chemical impurities are mainly due to dissolved salts present in water and can be observed by checking hardness, alkalinity or acidity of water. To remove such impurities, process like demineralization, reverse osmosis can be used. Then biological impurities are nothing but microorganisms present in water and these impurities can be destroyed by disinfection process like chlorination. Hardness of water. It is characteristic of water which prevents the lathering of soap or in other words the soap consuming capacity of water sample and this hardness is because of mainly calcium and magnesium salts present in water. It is generally measured in terms of concentration of all such salts in ppm that means parts per million with respect to calcium carbonate salt. If concentration of such salts is more in water, that means hardness of water is more or water is hard and such water consumes more soap. You know that chemically soap means salt of long chain fatty acid like this one sodium stearate. In normal case, soap used to dissolve in water and reveals surface tension of water which helps for cleaning any substrate or simply cleaning action. However, if water is hard enough, that means if it contains calcium and magnesium salts, soap preferentially reacts with such salts. in this manner and produces insoluble white precipitate of calcium and magnesium soap like this one calcium stearate or magnesium stearate which does not produce any detergent value hence in such case more amount of soap get consumed for cleaning action
Therefore, water which does not produce lather with soft solution readily but forms curd is called hard water and water which lathers easily on mixing with soap solution is called soft water. There are two types of hardness. Temporary also called as carbonate or alkaline hardness and second one that is permanent also called as non-carbonate or non-alkaline hardness. Let us see one by one. Temporary hardness. It is due to presence of carbonates and bicarbonates of calcium and magnesium, hence also called as carbonate hardness. These salts increase alkalinity of water, hence also called as alkaline hardness, and can be removed easily by boiling followed by filtration, hence called temporary hardness. When water containing bicarbonates of calcium and magnesium gets heated, such salts get converted to insoluble salts like carbonates or hydroxides of calcium and magnesium, which can be easily removed by filtration method. Permanent hardness it is due to presence of dissolved salts of calcium and magnesium like chlorides, sulfates and nitrates. And such salts cannot be removed by using simple techniques like boiling or filtration, hence called permanent hardness. It requires special chemical treatments to remove such salts like lime soda, zeolite, or ion exchange method so that's it for now thank you so much